Yeah, so the effects of a ketogenic diet on gut health um, haven't been really studied um, rigorously, if at all. <laughs> There's very little research, in fact. Anecdotally, you know, we, uh, we see people um, uh, state their, their GI, um, if they had any GI problems or, or si signs or symptoms, they tend to get better on a ketogenic diet. So we do have, you know, so, some pretty, pretty consistent um, testimonials about a ketogenic diet helping uh, GI-related uh, issues like irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease, but it hasn't been well studied in any randomized clinical trials. But uh, my, you know, my thinking is um, we know the, the the colon and the and the gut um, love butyrate, and you know we we we. We feed the, the gut butyrate um, by eating fiber and having certain bacteria that, that uh, inhabit our, our, our GI tract convert that uh, fiber into short-chain fatty acids like butyrate. And, uh, and colonocytes love it. Um, they thrive on it. And that's generally why we promote high-fiber diets is to, um, you know, because of that bacterial-produced butyrate that, that then fuels the colon. Uh, so it's provocative to me to think, though, that a ketogenic diet, um, which results in increases in hepatically derived beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is very similar chemically, structurally, to butyrate, it just has a hydroxyl group, um, could serve as an alternative source of butyrate for the colonocytes. And in fact, there is some animal uh, research to support this. this may be the case. But in that sense, um, you know, you could say that a high carbohydrate diet increases your requirement for fiber because you're inhibiting your own body's production of ketones, and that a ketogenic diet decreases your requirement for fiber because you're already supplying that butyrate. That's the thinking, anyway. But that that needs to be, you know, validated in follow-up studies and so forth, but my thought is there's a positive effect on the gut health and the microbiome and microbiota composition on a ketogenic diet, but there's a lot to sort out there. It's enormously complex. We have this entirely different species cohabiting our bodies and living in, symbi in a symbiotic relationship normally, not always, but that's the, you know, that's the goal.